Can we dive into that a little more? You mentioned ageism, aging out, and now you're saying it again. Explain a little bit of this to me, why you okay. feel like age is tied to this. It's just been my understanding that that's how, that's how the industry works. And when I look at competitions and grants, they cater toward younger artists. It's not just me that thinks this. Like once you hit the age of 30, like that's it. You've got over the hill. No one's going to touch you. So that's just the understanding that I have. I would certainly disagree with that. Not that you're off base. I actually have this in my notes for you. Really, we're talking about a cover crew. As a performing musician, trying to generate income out of that and build infrastructure. That was like what I got out of our first three conversations. There are just certain indicators about your career and also your interests that lean itself away from radio, independent music, that being like your heart's desire. A lot of that comes around like the friction that exists around you even having your own recording equipment. For somebody who wants to like write music, they need to make sure that they have a playground to do that in. So they can write every day. So it's indicative of someone who's interested in that particular career path. It's just saying that it aligns with everything that you're saying. Age isn't really a factor. It can factor in, yes. But it's not as big of a factor as you think it is. A friend of mine, Jimmy Allen, his career didn't break until he was in his 30s when it really started to work. It can take time. This can even happen for cover musicians too, just so that we're not mistaken. Like I could very easily say, yeah, well, if you're singing in bars, the people that go to bars are between the ages of 21 to 30. That's not what you are. It's like what you look. If you look by the time you're 38, like you're 45, what 21 and 22 year old really wants to be sung to by a 40 year old? They may prefer someone singing that looks similar to them. If you choose to use the ageism ideology, you can use it, period. It's an ideology, so it applies, period you are going to say like, oh, it necessarily doesn't matter or the audience that I'm going to approach is different. Well, then that's where like the nuance comes in. Playing at a college bar is very different than playing at a theater, a retirement community. I think we spoke about this, singing in retirement homes. It's a good way to make money. People who are like 60 years old go into those homes and sing music. Yeah, yeah. It's really about the audience and where you position yourself. If you choose to be in a tribute band, be very lucrative. You can have a beautiful career out of it. Which band are you tribute? Temptations tribute band, Zeppelin tribute band, a 90s, they're all poised yeah. towards different markets. So your age does matter in those scenarios. I'm saying all of that just to say that no one is ever gonna hear your song and say to themselves, how old is that person? They don't turn the song on and say, this is Taylor Swift's new single. She's 30. They don't say that. It's a song. And you listen to it and you like it or you don't like it. It doesn't really matter how old the person is. It either resonates with you or it doesn't. 